You don't have the right to dictate how other people think of you or a demographic that you happen to fit. If their religion or beliefs in general put you in a light that you don't like, that's just tough. As long as they're not treating you poorly, it shouldn't matter. Unless we're talking about a professional setting or something, you don't have the right to police other people's language either. You don't have the right to force everyone to pretend that they think of you a particular way. For instance, I can't demand that people think of sexual orientation as innate, especially since it probably isn't. I can't even demand that people think it's not a choice. I mean, it's not a choice, at least not a conscious choice, but I can't force anyone to believe that. Even if people think it's a choice, as long as they treat me decently, it shouldn't matter. There are some activists in certain demographics that just can't settle for the notion of being treated decently. Everyone is supposed to have a very particular belief system in certain areas. And if they don't, they'll be considered something that ends in istrophobic. It doesn't settle well with a lot of people. No, not everyone views the DSM-5 like an all-knowing psychiatric religious book. The DSM-6 will probably be quite different than the DSM-5. You know, learning all the time. Whether it's considered the current science right now or not, not everyone is going to agree. And we can't force our beliefs onto other people. It's wrong when religious people do it, and it's wrong when people with any other type of belief do it. Regardless of if the belief is rooted in objectivity or not, which it probably isn't. Just saying.